Hey there, it's Brendan Stoneman at Remax Kelowna and I'm talking to Murray Klingbeil, home inspector with Amerispec. So in a previous video we talked about you know, the things that are typically covered in a normal home inspection, but just wanted to ask you, what are some of the things that are generally not covered in a home inspection? Not covered, good question. Uh, of course, we are limited to what we can visually see without doing destructive damage to the house. We can't dismantle mechanical components. Uh, unfortunately, unless you have a gas fitters tag, you can't dismantle a furnace to thoroughly check the heat exchanger. Uh, very few of us do any pool inspections because the most expensive components to replace are your underground distribution lines, and we don't have the pressure test equipment to be able to test that. Uh, we don't do any um, testing for asbestos, that's all got to be done at a lab. Mm -hmm. Samples can be taken properly by abatement people for that. Um, underground irrigation systems are rarely checked by home inspectors because they're just such a high failure maintenance item. Mm -hmm. uh, appliances typically are beyond the scope of our inspection, but myself personally, I'll, as a courtesy, I'll do a test on appliances that I know are staying with the house, built-in dishwashers, etc. Uh, but there again, oftentimes appliances do not stay with the house, so mm -hmm. we don't spend a lot of time on them. Mm -hmm. But what I do do is I take photographs of all the appliances because many times over my years in this business, what you saw when you walked through the house and made your offer and what is there when you take possession mm -hmm. are two different things. A little switcheroo. Switcheroo. Um, so then, you know, obviously you've done a, a ton of home inspections and, you know, although you may not... Um, be inspecting a particular item, you're pretty good at recognizing signs of problems and knowing when to call in an expert. Uh, very early in my career, I spent several days with one of the best pest control companies in town just as a ride along so they could train me on, on the major signs to look for, particularly with termite infestations. Uh, so anytime I see any inkling of a hint of activity, then of course I refer to my people that uh, they call in a pest control contractor. Uh, and the other thing that's very important for people is uh, septic systems. Mm -hmm. uh, because they're buried and hidden from view, there's very little that a, that a visual inspection can see unless it's grossly failed and you have effluent bubbling out of the ground. Mm -hmm. But being that a failed septic system is one of the most expensive components on the house, always have it pumped and checked, particularly if it's a rental property. 